So the final weeks of the season underway. We've got a massive tournament next week in Basel, which is one of the indoor hardcore tournaments to end the season. Of course, we've only got two weeks left of the regular season before the AW Finals and the Davis Cup after that. But let's go have a look at who's not playing in Basel next week. So we've got some big names missing, including Alcaraz, of course, pulling out with injury. He might not play in Paris as well next week, which is really, really scary. So hopefully he takes the week off and he's better for next week. Fakina also not playing, and Rayonich is also pulled out of this event. But having a look at the top of the draw, we've got eight seeds in this one, but no buys in the first round. Runa, he takes on Kecmenovic in the first round. Very tough first round for Runa. Kecmenovic was in some form last week. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Baez in the second round. Then you got Murray taking on Hanfman. Winner of that will take on either Echeverry or the number eight seed Corder in the second round, who's course in a little bit of form as well. So this is a very tough section for Runa, especially because he's trying to qualify for the ADB finals. But he does have a new coach in Boris Becker, so let's see if that helps him. But you've got to like Corder in this section, or maybe Murray if you want to go something a little different. Next section of the draw, you got the number three seed Fritz taking on Purcell. Great first round matchup. Not so much for Fritz, but it's going to be a great fun little match. Winner of that will take on either Vavrinka or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taken on RBA, Batista Ragu. Winner of that will take on either the wild card Reedy or the number six seed Ojali Asim, who again just can't seem to get in any sort of form in 2023. So this section is a little wild. Fritz trying to qualify for the ATP final, so he really needs to have a good week this week. Vavrinka, the hometown hero, and FAA trying to get some form. Of course, he is the defending champion of this event as well. So Felix has got some serious points to defend. So another weird section and maybe some random results in this section. Bottom half of the draw now, you've got the number five seed, Diminor taking on Schwartzman. Winner of that will take on either Grigspor or Jera in the second round. Then you've got Struff taking on Eubanks. Winner of that will take on either Lajevic or the number four seed, Herkatch, in the second round. Of course, Herkatch winning the Shanghai Masters a couple of weeks ago. Didn't play well in Tokyo last week, but still in contention for the ATP Finals as well. So big chance for Herkatch to do something on the indoor courts. And he's probably the favorite from this section because of his style, but also because of his form of recent weeks. In the bottom section of the draw, you've got Jarry, the number seven seed, taking on Manorino. Winner of that will take on either Umber or Giron in the second round. Then you've got Stricker taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Bublik or the number two seed, Rude. Massive first round matchup there for those guys. Bublik just made a final last week. Rude struggling. And another guy trying to make the ADB finals. So a really scary first round match there for Casper Ruud, but kind of a wild section of the draw. Bublik, Manorino, Umbed, even Giron have all been really good in recent weeks. Jarry, of course, has been great all year, and Stricker has also been good at times this year, and playing at home might help him. So this is a really tough section for Ruud, and we could get a random player out of this section as well. So there it is. That is the draw for Basel. A lot of players with a lot to play for this week. Of course, a lot of those players are trying to play for ADB final spots. There's only four spots up for grabs, and a lot of those guys are looking for those last couple of spots. You know, Rude, Fritz, Runa, those guys are all trying to play for that final spot or maybe those final couple of spots on that ATP Finals race. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one? It feels like it could be random, or it could be someone like a quarter or a her catch. Maybe that could be the final, quarter versus her catch. We're basing it on recent form. That sounds like it could be the final, but let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win in Basel? Massive tournament for a lot of players.